Imagine millions of Roblox accounts all getting banned and deleted at once. Well, that's actually happened. It's happened a couple of times. So today, we're going to break down the craziest and biggest Roblox ban waves. And let's first start with a recent situation. And this one is pretty insane. So I see at the time period I was saying that Roblox exploiters have been had. They try to cheat in a game yet instead go to display names changed to Latte I Am A Cheater. So yes, anti cheat company tried to get people to stop, you know, hacking on the platform. But obviously, people just didn't stop like that. So now what they did was they changed everyone's name to Latte I Am A Cheater exposing everyone who uses this and hacks as a cheater. If you search this up right now, there's thousands of accounts that all have this display name, and these people are, are all been exposed as hackers now, and they're all just sitting here, probably gonna get banned in the future. RT followed up with some more information saying, instead of uninstalling their cheats, which a lot of software as a security research company had done last time, so as you can see, they tried stopping them from hacking, but people just went back to it. So they resulted to doing this, which RT continued saying, they opted to trigger Hyperion on them and change their display name to Latte I Am A Cheater. So yeah, this is actually wild. They basically hacked all the hackers and changed their display name to expose them. They could probably do more with their accounts if they really wanted to, but they're basically just trying to teach them a lesson in probably the worst way possible because everyone just got exposed. Now, right now, all these accounts are still up and they haven't been banned. However, with this news kind of going viral in the community and even the owner here saying there's a big chance that all these people are probably going to get banned in like a big ban wave because it's pretty obvious who the hackers are now and just like that thousands of people got their accounts you know banned probably and deleted because they got exposed pretty wild story it's not as wild as a 5 million ban story but i'll talk more about that later as for now let's get into our next story which also banned a lot of people potentially millions so a few months ago roblox v9 players started to realize something really weird when they went to roblox it just wouldn't work they get many connection errors just errors in general and no matter what they did you couldn't access and play roblox and typically in roblox we see glitches happen all the time it's not that uncommon however it wasn't just one person or a couple of people it was everyone everyone in vietnam couldn't play roblox anymore and people started to get concerned and it went on like this for like two weeks two weeks vietnam players just couldn't play and access roblox however it did come back but it came back with some unfortunate news it came back with the news that roblox is no longer going to be available to vietnam players instead they're have to develop a new version of roblox and just like that a little bit later roblox was completely removed from the app store people went to search it people went to try downloading it again and it's completely gone from the vietnam app store so just like that they went from having problems to now roles being completely gone from the platform and that also came with the news that roblox is launching their new vietnam version called roblox vng and the reason you have to do this is because vietnam has some super strict restrictions on gaming and stuff like that so in order for roles to be available in vietnam they had to change a lot of stuff so that's why they had to relaunch a whole separate version of roblox called roblox Roblox Vietnam. But here's the thing, this thing had so much strict rules and so much weird stuff that a lot of people ended up still not even playing it just because it ended up being so bad. So firstly, as you can see here, you have to give your ID, which a lot of people just don't do and aren't comfortable doing. So already off the bat, a lot of people just stop playing Roblox because of this. But then on top of that, they have a super strict like age limit and they have to be over 12 and up. And already off the bat, it was just off to a horrible start, but it gets worse because as we can see here, a lot of the reviews and just comments on like the VNG page are just super negative and super awful and everyone's being super toxic towards the game and it's overall super hated people went from being able to play the normal version of roblox comfortably to being able to play a super weird version of roblox not so comfortably because of all the strict rules and due to the strict rules and the age restrictions a lot of people just don't play anymore and because of this millions of accounts got banned and a lot of people can't play roblox anymore because of this and it was a horrible thing and to make it all worse once people signed up for the vng thing their account was locked to roblox vietnam forever as we can see here some people tried you know just going to the roblox vietnam for fun but right when they tried going back their account was banned and deleted because it's only a vietnam account now so a lot of people lost their accounts because it's only strictly vietnam and with that if you look at the vietnam population it's almost 100 million now obviously not all 100 million people play roblox but definitely a lot of them did and potentially hundreds of thousands or millions of people got banned from playing roles because of this and speaking of countries banning roblox we'll move to our next story where a lot of countries actually banned roblox but there's one crazy one so all the countries that have banned roblox are china guatemala jordan north korea oman and the uae now a lot of these countries have been unbanned from roblox but they were banned for a period of time and most of the time countries banned roblox just because of child safety and stuff like that and also just like their weird laws i made a whole video talking about banned countries in depth if you want more details go check it out after but there's one country that stands out because it just happened and it's really bad that being turkey just recently this month roblox ended up being banned in turkey which was crazy it came out of nowhere and turkey players could not play roles or access roles at all anymore and this got so bad that as we can see here people were literally going around turkey and protesting against you know like the country saying bring roblox back people were protesting like crazy you know shouting in the streets to bring back roblox it was insane 
And I think this shows you how much it's affected Turkey because a lot of their players do play Roblox. In fact, a few years ago, Rolls released some stats and it kind of shows you how important Turkey is to Roblox. Turkey was in the top 10 countries at the most engagement time. So a lot of Turkey players are playing Roblox, but not just that. As we can see here, Turkey also has a bunch of developers in Roblox, the ninth out of every other country. So as we can see here, Turkey is a large player base and a lot of devs and stuff like that are from Turkey. So this ban was massive and millions of people probably got banned from playing Roblox because of this. Now Rolls did end up responding and he said that yesterday Rolls was blocked in Turkey and we're working with the local authority to ensure we're backing up and running as soon as possible. So yeah, Rolls is still fighting this case and they're trying to get back into Turkey, but so far it hasn't been working and potentially it might never work. And once again, Turkey has a population of like 85 million, all which can't play Rolls anymore. But like I mentioned, obviously not everyone in the population plays Roblox, but as I showed you, a lot of people are definitely affected by this. And already off the bat, with two countries that I showed you getting banned from playing Roblox and that first ban wave, there's already probably millions of people all getting banned at once. Millions of people that can't play Roblox anymore. But with that, our next story I just want to cover in general Roblox ban waves. If you guys aren't aware, Roblox has constant ban waves. Every month or like every couple of weeks or so, Roblox does a ban wave where they ban thousands of people, typically due to exploiting and hacking. Kind of like how I mentioned in the first story. And this happens constantly. There's a bunch of Rolls banning going on every time. And you just end up banning thousands of people. Sometimes it's for three days, but sometimes it's actually permanent account deletions. They're all a bit different and they're all a bit random, but Rolls banners are common, you know, where they ban thousands of people. But what isn't common is when they ban, you know, a whole country or a whole country gets banned or when they ban millions of people. And let's get into our last story where they banned 5 million accounts all at once. And it all starts with Roblox Lubu, aka Roblox China. So once again, similar to the Roblox Vietnam thing, Roblox had restrictions in China, so people couldn't actually play Roblox in China. And due to that, they had to make a whole separate version of Roblox to fit the Chinese laws and gaming laws because China has a bunch of weird gaming laws when it comes to games. So for a game to be available in the Chinese market, they have to change a lot of stuff, which is why Roblox launched roblox lubu aka roblox china in 2021 and for the most part it did fine there was a bunch of weird laws like i mentioned like as we can see this following video roblox posted like some rules that people have to follow and there's a bunch of weird stuff like no encouragement of minors hating and quitting school you know just some random stuff like that but beyond that like i mentioned roblox lubu was fine for like the first year where it was out everything was going fine people used it and chinese players were happy they can finally play roblox even if it was a bit weird but then around a year later, actually not even, a couple of months later, on December 8th, 2021, so they launched in 2021, July 13th, and then they shut down on December 8th, 2021. So yeah, on December 8th, 2021, Lubu just shut down. As we can see on the wiki, it says, A post was made on the Lubu website announced this, thanking players for helping and testing, and stating the product will continue to be optimized for the time being. So yeah, after a few months, I guess Roblox realized that it wasn't worth it, or it didn't really work properly, so then they ended up just banning and deleting the whole project after a couple of months. And the story didn't end there, because like I mentioned, a year later something happened. And this is the crazy part, a year later, Roblox terminated all 5 million accounts. Every single Lubu user and all 5 million people that had an account there all got terminated and banned off the Roblox platform. Now typically, like I mentioned in this video, when a country bans Roblox, people's accounts don't actually get banned. Roblox as a whole gets banned so they can't access Roblox. However, technically their account is still fine and safe. So if it does eventually come back, they can access all their items and Roblox again. However, in this case, it wasn't just like that. They deleted everyone's account and terminated everyone's account. So you can't even access it ever again, which is crazy. And if you're wondering what happened to these accounts, a lot of them obviously aren't around anymore. However, all the 5 million deleted accounts were reset to account forgotten and then a bunch of numbers which was you know their id and some of these accounts are still around they obviously aren't active and they obviously haven't been accessed in a while but it's pretty crazy to see five million accounts all being banned and terminated at once and some of them just being you know account forgotten absolutely insane from roblox and with that being said if we tally everything in this video it's probably millions of people who got banned from like roblox we don't know the exact number besides this last one but it might be over like 10 million accounts at this point it's actually insane because the country bans do the most damage and as we can see here, Roblox bans a lot of accounts for some crazy reasons. Sometimes the country gets banned in Roblox, sometimes Roblox just decides to, you know, delete their own version of Roblox, or sometimes hackers get, you know, caught out. It's pretty wild to see. But with that being said, if you enjoyed, check out to find out how 500,000 Roblox accounts were all hacked at once, and I'll see you in the next one.